does the beep mean I am connected? It found us. Lovely. Hey, uh, and welcome back to the channel. So I have just finished watching episode seven and I literally just want to jump into episode eight, honestly, because I want to find out what's happening back at the lab. Just to do a very, very brief recap of episode seven. It was basically an 11 episode. She basically ran from what was essentially her mother's house because the aunt, I think, was phoning somebody, I believe, thinking she was helping, but I think it was somebody from the lab that she was on the phone with. Um, so Eleven ran. She found what she's calling her sister. I don't think it's biologically her sister. Maybe it is. I don't know. They might have the same dad. But she's found her, like, the way she does with the radio stuff and went to her and they kind of... It was just all a bit, like, not good, basically. The, the sister is the one that we saw at the beginning of the first episode. She's kind of going around basically taking people out that used to work at the lab, I believe. Which is, you know, understandable. It's it's definitely an understandable reaction, I think, but it's it's a little bit extreme. Not the sort of thing we want Eleven getting involved with. So they basically went and tried to kill a guy and then Eleven basically stopped her and it was just all a bit of a mess, really. But then it ended with them, like, cops descending on them to, to capture them. But Eleven, whilst trying to contact Mike and Hopper realised that they were in trouble back at the lab. So she's now going back to Hawkins to save them, hopefully. So yeah, I'm imagining this next episode is going to be back at the lab. We're going to see what's going on there with the, the flappy people. So yeah, I think it's probably time to jump straight in. So this is Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 8. Climbing up the mine shaft, aren't they? Oh no. Oh god. Mother of God. I hope not. No, don't don't get away from the glass. Ooh. Oh, I hope that's strong glass. Run. I am clenching. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, that's not holding. Come on. We're under attack. Lock the doors. Oh. We need to make Will sleep. He killed those soldiers. He'll kill us too. He's lying. He's lying. Oh shit. That was a good call from Mike. Oh no. Those are gunshots. Do it. Hold him down. No, no, let go. I feel like I need tissues for this episode. Oh. Put those there. I don't want anybody to die in this episode. But it's in the second to last episode. I don't recognise the house. Hey guys, we're home. Max's parents? Or mum and stepdad? Or stepdad, dad and stepmum? One or the other. Oh shit, Max snuck out, didn't she? She went with um, Lucas. 
I don't want to know what you was just doing then. So it was his stepmum and dad. So it's Max's mum and stepdad, okay. Unless he calls his mum Susan. What's wrong? Why don't you tell us? Because I don't know. We can't find Maxine. And her window's open. I'm sure she's fine. You were supposed to watch her. I'm sorry, okay? So that's why you've been staring at yourself in the mirror like some instead of watching your sister. I have been looking after her all week, Dad. She's 13 years old. She shouldn't need a full-time babysitter. You can see where the sun gets it from. Okay, that's not good. Do not do that. Now, apologize to Susan. He's going to call whatever whore he's seeing tonight and cancel their date. And then he's going to go find his sister, like the good, kind, respecting brother that he is. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Guy was a fucking dick. Actually felt sorry for Billy then. For dinner. That was not my fault. Hey guys. Hear, oh, so you hear the siren. Guys. Or something. Hey, hey guys, why are you headed towards the south? Don't leave her. <laughs> oh fuck me. <laughs> and this is the nearest exit. If you can somehow make it there, there's no way out. What do you mean? The locks are fail secure. If there's a power outage, the building goes on full lockdown. Can it be unlocked remotely? With a computer, sure, but somebody's got to reset the breakers. Where are the breakers? The breakers are in the basement, three floors down. Of course they are. If you want to unlock the doors, you have to completely reboot the computer system and then override the security codes with a manual input. Fine. How do I do that? You can't. Not unless you know basic. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Oh no. It's okay. Remember Bob Newby, superhero. Why do I want to cry already? Anything happens down there? I'll let you come right back. I'm coming right back here. Is he going on his own? And don't wait for me. Oh, Bob. Oh God. It's off. Maybe it's closed. Jonathan? What? I think there's something in the woods. Is it the others? Hello? Yeah, okay. Who's there? Oh God, this is gonna be awkward, isn't it? Nancy? Jonathan? What are you doing here? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I just, I... I would never be a hero, honestly. I, I would be hiding under a table. With some tissues, probably crying. That's good. The power's back. Does this mean they can get in? Now he's got to override the doors, doesn't he? Easy peasy. Son of a bitch did it. 
Oh no, I don't like this. Hold on a second, Chief. What's wrong? West Airwell's not clear anymore. Oh, fuck. Oh no. Well, take this. What are you doing? Any more surprises? I'll let you know. Go. Go! Go, please. No, oh, fuck Bob. Well, don't fuck Bob. You know what I mean. I don't mean that. I don't mean leave him. I mean... Oh, God. Shit. You're almost home free, all right, Bob? Shit. Run! Please, please. Oh, God. Go. I don't know how many people are there. I don't know how many people are left alive. I am the police chief, Jim Hopper. I think I knew Bob was gonna die. I mean, I didn't know, but like, I had a feeling. We are. But even if they come, how are they going to stop this? You can't just shoot this with guns. You don't know that. We don't know anything. We know it's already killed everybody in that lab. It we have to kill it. I want to kill it. Me too. Me I too, Joyce. Oh, but how do we do that? We don't exactly know what we're dealing with here. No, but he does. If anyone knows how to destroy this thing, it's Will. He's connected to him. He'll know his weakness. He can't spy if he doesn't know where he is. Yeah, this will work. It's a pretty cool idea. Thought she was tearing his jeans then. can't be easy to do for like to your son I know why they're doing it but god there's lights yeah. 
shit, where did Billy go? He was looking for her, wasn't he? Why am I tied up? Well, I just want to talk to you. We're not going to hurt you. Where am I? Why am I tied up? Why am I tied up? March 22nd is it's your birthday. Your birthday. When you turned eight, I gave you that huge box of crayons. Do you remember that? And all your friends, they got you Star Wars toys. We stayed up all night building Castle by just so we could truly. And it took so long because you were so bad at hammering. <laughs> Trying to bring Will out, aren't they? Do you remember the first day that we met? Shit, is he signaling to them somehow? I think he's talking. He's not with words. Or is he signaling to them? Hey, what is that? Morse code. H E R E. Here. Will's still in that. He's talking to us. Do you remember the first time I played you this? So I played you the mixtape I made you. Close gate. Close gate. Oh shit. Just the phone. You could be anywhere. Right? Oh fuck. It knows. It knows where we are. Time to run. That's not good. Where are they? Sorry? Eleven? Oh, that's gross. That's eleven. Yeah. Or somebody with her power. Hopefully. Yes.
Well, that was episode eight. Oh, that was pretty stressful, I have to say. There was a lot that went on. See, obviously, Bob dying was a, a fairly major thing that happened. But honestly, I wasn't that surprised. I've kind of had the feeling he was going to die from the minute we met him, if I'm completely honest. Just because he's nice and kind and he just kind of seems a little bit too nice in some ways. But also, I think the fact that I've always felt that Harper and Joyce had got something between them. And, and I've thought that since season one. And I and I kind of feel like Bob was in the way there and I I felt sorry for Bob while he was with Joyce because I kind of felt like Joyce preferred Hopper but she was just with Bob because he was safe. You know, which is, I think I mentioned that before, but that's that's kind of understandable considering what she's been through. But yeah, it it, it was obviously upsetting but it, it wasn't that much of a shock that it happened. Surprisingly, we saw Max and Billy's parents... But yeah, his dad, or their dad, her, her, well, no, it's Max's stepdad, isn't it? And his dad, yeah, he's an asshole, absolute dickhead. Like, you can, you can see where Billy gets it from. You can see why Billy's so aggressive. And not that it's excusing him. I mean, because the guy's a dick, but you could see why he's a dick. You can, you know, because like, if that's how he's treated at home. And he's obviously scared of his dad. You can see why he treats Max the way he does, like just yells at her and is just an absolute, you know, he basically scares her because that's what his dad does to him. So that was like, I found myself actually feeling sorry for Billy at that point, which was surprising because up until that, I, I just look at his face and I want to punch him, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, so, so that was definitely surprising. I thought it was very clever the way they put Swill to sleep because obviously realising that he was technically kind of spying on them. You know, he could tell the the mind flare where they were and that sort of stuff. So that was all good. Yeah, it was, it was kind of cool how they kind of all, all came together and holed up in the house, like at the end there. And then obviously Eleven arrives, which was brilliant. And that obviously had me tearing up a bit as well, seeing sort of Mike and Eleven reunited. Because Mike didn't know she was alive. He thought she was dead. So it's just like mind blown for him, probably. <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really, really good. And obviously the others, you know, sort of Max and everybody else. What well, Max obviously doesn't know Eleven, but she's heard about her. So she presumably realises who she is. So yeah, I believe the next episode, episode nine, is the last in the season. And presumably Eleven's gonna... I mean, she's obviously saved them there. And will was using the Morse code to tell them to close the gate, wherever the gate is. I'm assuming that's the big gate back at the lab, isn't it? So I don't quite know how they're going to do that because there's all those flappy monsters there. I'm actually quite tempted to jump in and just watch the last one now. In fact, I think I'm going to. So I, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this video up and jump into the next episode. So if you've enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to do the subscribe -y thing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.